I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something's bothering me about this murder, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not that I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Eh, working on it. <laughs> Hey, Carla, can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? I've been waiting six months for it now. Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. He's been avoiding me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Oh, wait, Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay. I'll be at my desk all morning. Tyler is still not here. I'd better try to give him a ring. Yeah? Know what time it is? Oh, shit. Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. I'm on my way. Stay a little longer. Mm, sorry, babe, but I really gotta go. I'll make some coffee. Okay, I'll grab a shower, get dressed, and then I'm out of here. Man, I love watching her when she's sleeping. I've known her for two years now. She still rocks my world the way she did the first time I ever saw her. I thought you were in a hurry. Hey, I always got two minutes for you, babe. Only two minutes?
Completely idiotic, but it helps me think. Carter, I'm on my way. Uh, yeah, I know. No, I, no, I, I just had a little problem, so I'll... Yeah, okay, okay, I'm right there. Classified file. So, it's a name associated with a case. Too bad. I would have liked to find out more. Girl, okay, this time I really am out of here. A statuette of socks, one of the characters in my favorite video game. It's broad daylight outside. I think I'm a little early. Hey, you're a good-looking guy, you know that?
Oh, Sam looks like she's sulking. And I know what's bothering her. My collection of Motown albums. I wouldn't swap them for CDs for all the gold in the world. I think it's high time to change the tube. You want to catch a death of cold like that? I'm not cold. Oh, look, Sam, please don't start. I got no intention of dying today. I'm sick of living in fear like this. Every morning, I'm, I'm terrified that something's going to happen to you. I know how you feel, Sam. There's a lot of violence out there. But if nobody does anything, it's all going to go to shit. We're going to have kids someday. I want to leave them a world that's a little better than the one we got now. But why does it have to be you who's out there risking his life, Tyler? Why couldn't we just go to Florida and work with my family and live a normal life like everybody else? Why do I have to wonder if you're going to die every day? I'm not ready for a normal life yet, Sam. Right now, I belong here. You need to try to accept me for what I am and what I choose to do. I love you, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Carl is looking for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm already late. What made it take worse by wandering around in the basement? Let it crawl. guy I was looking for. Oh, shit. You remember that hundred bucks I loaned you about six months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, for example? Jeffrey, do you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ? Because he believes in you. And way up in the clouds, he's telling you, money has no value, Jeffrey. The only thing that really matters is love, man. That's real funny. Oh. Now give me my hundred bucks before I get really pissed. Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b-ball for your hundred bucks. If you win, I'll give you two hundred bucks right then. But if you lose, 
cool. You'll give me 200 bucks if I win. You got my word, man. All right, you're on. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, Jeffrey. I'll come by and see you when I get five minutes. The waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? All right, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. So, what do you want to start with? Did you find anything on the coffee cup? The only prints we found belonged to the waitress. That's impossible, man. That cup was half empty. Somebody must have drank it. What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim. It was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. Tell me about the blood found in the killer's booth. As strange as it might sound, that blood didn't come from the victim. It was the killer's? So it would seem. He was wounded? Were there any prints on the book that was under the table? Yep, and they matched the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. Hey, why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Uh, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. 